Hey there guys, welcome back to another Monster Super League video. It's your boy Odin, and today we're going to be doing some clan festival summons as well as opening up some eggs. Um, and I'm mainly doing this just to wish you all a happy new year. Um, I know that some of you guys are kind of ahead in the future, meaning you are uh, overseas and abroad already in your 2020 year. Uh, but for some of us here in America and in the South America and for some people still in Europe, I guess it's still uh, 2019. So anyways, wanted to go ahead and just do a quick summit video for you guys today and at least, uh, you know, show my appreciation for you guys and uh, wish you guys a uh, very um, adventurous and uh, very happy new year. Um, and so we're just going to go ahead and do a couple of summons, mainly because I want to do some rebirths for the new um, four-star Mon Harley Quinn. Um, but also because I'm going to need some of these Nat 3s for the, uh, oh, there's a Fire Shinobi on the first pole. That's actually great. Um, and so I also need some uh, three-star Mons for the uh, Mona and the uh, Lat uh rebirth coming up here next month but that's actually really cool i was i wasn't expecting any uh monsters here for my first pool so that's that's pretty awesome there um of course that was the ticket summon so as you guys know you know if you can afford it i think it's like three dollars i went ahead and did it just because uh you know i wanted to get some extra mons here and uh just wanted to test out the rates um unfortunately i am going to be doing only a few summons today just because I do want to save most of my Astro Gems for the upcoming uh, Heroes Festival, and I haven't been able to farm that many. As you guys see, I only have 16,000, I think I started with. Um, so I haven't been able to farm too many Astro Gems lately because it's been the holidays and I've been with family and everything. Um, but anyways, just kind of figured I would do a few summons here today just to get a few Nat 4s. So that's pretty awesome right there. Um, but anyways, guys, I hope you guys uh, have summoned a little bit here. And, um, you know, if you guys are saving for Heroes Fest or Clan Fest, let me know. Um, I also um, love hearing from you guys whenever you guys tell me you've been able to pull some monster that you really wanted or you really liked. And, wow, this is this has got to be a really lucky uh, Clan Festival for me here. Uh, it's two Nat 5s within, like, what, like 3,000 gems? Not even, 2,000 gems? So that's pretty cool. We got some Nat 4s. Awesome. Let's see what we get here. Um, I'm not looking for anything particular uh, from the uh, Clans Festival, mainly because I don't need any RGB mons. Uh, I'm mainly looking for Dark and Light um, mons and uh, that Water Balrona and the Water Bast. So, yeah, you know, you guys know I'm pretty much screwed on the Heroes Festival every single month and... Uh, yeah, it's just how my luck goes. But uh, hoping that someday I may be able to pull the uh, Water Balrona or the Water Bast. Hopefully, 433, you know, please grant me that wish for the new year. That would be pretty cool. All right, let's see how many we get here. We got a Golden Egg. Um, and I'm probably only going to go enough to uh, summon the uh, Heroes Festival Egg because I do have a bunch of eggs to open, including some light and dark uh, eggs for you guys. Highlight. Uh, and dark eggs. Let's see what we get here. But again, mainly just looking for some Nat 4s for the rebirth. And let's see what we got. Alright, so we're in about 4,000 Astro Gems now. And we've pulled two Nat 5s. Um, but uh, I hope that you guys have been able to have as much luck as I have here. At least uh, to rein in the new year. You know, it's pretty crappy if you guys don't manage to get anything so i wish you guys all the best of luck and uh, let me know if you guys do manage to pull something good from this uh so let's see we're gonna need four gifts still so we're probably gonna go another uh five thousand or so astro gems i think you need but like twelve thousand to pull the uh the egg the clan festival egg so um definitely gonna need some more gems here of course guys you know depending on where you are in the game you may either save your gems for the Clan Festival or the uh, Heroes Festival. Me personally, again, I only need um, the eggs on the uh, Heroes Festival because I want that Water Balrona. Um, just to show you guys where I'm at here, this is kind of funny. You know, some people really try to get some um, uh, wood Merlins. And so far, you know, in my eight months of playing, I think I have, yeah, I have four wood Merlins. 
I just recently got my last one here to Evo 2 um, and I'm actually going to be Evo getting another one to Evo uh, 3. I only have one so far but I'm thinking about either going with uh, and for a while I was kind of debating if I should get my Dark Merlin uh, to Evo 3 but I think I'm going to just go ahead and do my, my Wood 1 just for the sake of things. Oh and um, we'll go ahead and do some uh, Rebirth summons for the Harley Quinn as well. So stick around for that in case you're get pretty bored of me clicking on here <laughs> and let me go ahead and just skip this we'll go back into the summon and then we'll come back for the uh not force to do the harley quinn uh rebirths i'm hoping that i pull at least one dark one um, i don't have that many nat force this round because i wasted a lot of them uh, on the uh, pixie rebirth and as you guys know that she's not coming back around for the second turn which is really odd considering the fact that um you know, most mon or 433 had stated that they were going to do all rebirth mods, you know, at least two turns in a month, uh, down from the three turns that it used to be. But I think they just decided to skip her because they wanted to uh, uh, basically create a new schedule for the new monsters that are coming out now. As you guys know, they are preparing a couple of new Nat 5s, uh, including some uh, rebirth Nat 5s. Uh, they claim at least from the director's note, is saying that uh, they're going to be pretty useful. Um, so I guess we'll see. They, they, uh, from what I read, it's they're supposed to kind of be as useful as Draka. And as you guys know, Draka is pretty damn overpowered in the game. So, um, you know, definitely hoping that uh, the new monsters are pretty good. Uh, so personally, I've been saving most of my, my monsters uh, to, uh, you know, basically uh, rebirth on the new uh, nat 5s that are supposedly go going to come out. Alright, let's see. Does that get me enough? Uh, I think I'm going to need one more. Yes, I am. Alright, looks like we need uh, 22 more. So let's go ahead and do... I believe it's 3 more multis. So 1800 Astro Gems. Again, I wasn't playing going this deep, but, uh, you know, need about 12,000 to get the egg, so. But uh, I should definitely be able to farm up another 20,000 for the uh, Heroes Fest. Uh, as you guys know, I wasn't really too lucky in my last Heroes Fest. I ended up missing um, the eggs, which was kind of annoying. Um, but I did actually get all three eggs. So it, it took me about 26,000 Astro Gems in total, you know. And depending on where you are, you know, during the month, if, you, if you're farming up real good, then it should be okay to uh, get to that much at, at the end of the month. But, you know, hit or miss. All right, so we ended up with a Fire Shinobi and the uh, Wood Beiji, which is pretty cool. I could definitely use some more Beijis, uh either as food or, um, you know, using them to uh, for the Light Titan. Uh, she's got a pretty decent skill for the Light Titan. All right, so now that we got some eggs here, we're gonna go ahead and grab this stuff. So we got a couple golden eggs. Hopefully there's a light and dark out of those. And it's kind of the only other reason why I'm summoning for the clan festival this time around, just because I wanted to get some, um, you know, light and dark mons. Um, my luck has been okay, I wanna say, with the light and dark mons lately. It hasn't been too, too crazy, but, you know, can't always get what you want. All right, let's see what we uh, can do here. I'm just going to drop some of these guys in my uh, storage bin here. Let me see what I got. Ah, oh, he's got two squares. Cool, I can actually either use him on the fire, uh, or not the fire, the light titan, or the dark titan. So not too bad. I'm going to just go ahead and uh, probably skip some, some of this for you guys and just throw these in the box. And okay guys, so it just it took me a second here to go through a lot of the uh, inboxes and try to clean up some of the astromounts so I could have some space, um, but we went ahead and did it. Uh, the wood beige here has two squares again, so it's pretty good. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and go to the eggs, and we're going to pull on the eggs. I figured you guys could uh, basically be okay as long as me... Uh, as long as I skip a lot of this stuff, that's kind of irrelevant. I don't want to make you guys sit through a lot of this stuff without, uh, you know, 
having any good reason for it. So we're gonna go ahead and get started and we're gonna open up these uh, golden eggs and uh, we got a dark sea star. Um, that's pretty cool except uh, I'm only looking for nat fives. If 433 wanted to be super nice and give me a nat light and dark nat five, oh, well, um, can't be mad I guess about another nat five. I could definitely use that one for my uh, water Hades. And wow, a dark banshee. Interesting. I actually just pulled one of her a couple of weeks ago, so now I have two dark banshees. And that's just kind of how it go goes, guys. You know, sometimes you get the luck, and sometimes you don't. All right, a wood Odin, and let's see what the last one is. Uh, so these eggs, we got one one nat five egg for free, and I had the other one from the Tower of Chaos, which I hadn't opened in a while. And man, I've been pulling water Shebas left and right here. Um, we're going to go ahead and open up my light and dark eggs here. We're going to open up one, and then you guys know how I like to do it. One and then ten in a, in a, in a row. Let's see what I got here. Don't do this to me. All right, there we go. All right, where is my luck, 433? Can you please be nice to me on this new year? And, uh, no, no, I cannot. I actually already have a dark, uh, what's his name there? So, well, that's kind of upsetting. All right, let's see if the, uh, guaranteed heroic head has a light and dark mod on it. And no, it's a wood or a water Enkidu, uh, which I already happen to have as well. So that's pretty much it, guys. Looks like I uh, pulled some decent monsters this time around, though. Nothing too crazy. Uh, Loki has double seal. Uh, Banshee has two squares. Okay. Wood Odin, one square. Shiva, one square. And the uh, Wood Hades also has a square. As you guys know, squares are only relevant if the monster needs uh, criticals. Uh, but I generally like general like uh, most of my monsters have at least one square, so not not bad, I guess. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much for me. I will catch you guys on the next Heroes Festival, and I wanted to wish you all a very happy new year and good luck on the rest of your year summons.